All right, what's up guys? Today, I'm actually filming a video. I know it's been more than a year since I've done a video, and that's for multiple reasons, and I just don't want to make this whole video about why I pretty much stopped filming videos. So I'm just make a quick summary. Basically, Supreme, as you know, as you guys know in the last videos I filmed years ago, they just have been falling off for me and my style and my opinion for the last like, you know, three years when I stopped doing videos. So I was just like over it. I felt like doing videos became like a chore, something I wasn't really enjoying, which I used to really enjoy. And I was just basically buying stuff just to make a video and I didn't like any of the stuff. So basically Supreme, just this, what they started doing, they didn't make stuff for me anymore. And I feel like a lot of you guys that watch me back in the day, it kind of happened with you too, because I know a lot of you guys barely even, at least from my Instagram, a lot of you guys don't really buy as much Supreme as you used to. And I feel like you guys, my, my audience, I feel like grew up with me. So like all the new kids watch these other newer, younger, hype beast kind of videos. So I was like, you know, what's the point of doing videos anymore? I'm not into it. I don't think my audience is really into it. But when I post a lot of stuff on Instagram, which I am still active on Instagram, not as much as I used to be, because now it's more natural. I like living my life. I don't. I feel like I don't want to put it on YouTube or Instagram as much. And I feel like Instagram became a chore. Like I had to do a video, I had to post a picture of my new shirt, I had to put it up the video, the, you know, that same day. So now it's just more relaxed. And the other reason, uh, some of you may know if you keep following me on Instagram, I moved from Tampa to Austin, Texas. So it's cool when you're living in the same place, the same city for a long time to have a collection of things, have tons of accessories, have tons of shoes, all this stuff. But when you move, it's kind of really annoying. So that's why I started selling off a lot of my Supreme stuff. You know, it's just like I'd rather have the money for the move is the other part. It's a big time one, you know, one time expense, you know, just moving and stuff like that. So I was like, I'd rather have the money and I don't want to be carrying a bunch of stuff. It is so torturous moving with a collection of stuff. So I super scaled down all my Supreme stuff. I barely have any accessories. I actually sold a lot of decks. I kept all the ones I really like. And then basically I looked at the decks like that's the last thing I would sell. But I looked at it like, would I rather have this deck or would I rather have $300? Do I care that much about the deck? And you know, that's decided if I would sell it. But I kept all the decks that I really like. As you can see, the old movies, you can't see, they're around the house still. But that was the other reason. We moved to Austin and I wanted to really cut down my collection. I want to have a lower, you know, carrying stuff with you. I feel like it's such a burden to have tons of stuff that's unnecessary especially when you move so those are the reasons why I kind of stopped doing videos but the past month I've actually been really picking up a lot of things nothing from Supreme but a lot of streetwear and type stuff that I thought you guys might enjoy every time I post a picture on Instagram I get hey miss the videos and I'm like I always feel bad like you know I'm just, I feel like the audience wasn't there I feel like you guys grew up with me I feel like I didn't have stuff to post so why just make videos you know if I didn't really wasn't into it. But I picked up a lot of stuff over the past month, so I just thought I'd do a pickup video and show you guys. So let's get right into it. First off, I'm just gonna do this by categories. I'm gonna go with decks right away. A lot of the decks I've been picking up since Supreme hasn't been doing artist collabs, like at all, really. Which I don't know why. That was like the, one of the reasons that I really got into Supreme was artist collabs and advanced collabs. And they don't do nothing now. They just do like all over print bullshit. But so I've been getting a lot of skateboards, but well, three right here, but I feel like I'm getting a lot over the past year. A lot of them are like stuff I don't think you guys would care about, but of course, as a lot of you know, if you've been following me forever, Gino Iannucci is my favorite skateboarder of all time. So every time FA releases his board, I grab the board. This is his most recent one. It's like the photo, uh, class photo album, but the felt. Next board, I posted a picture of this on my Instagram. I thought it was pretty cool. This is the Big Willie World Industries deck with my Folio deck signed by the old World Industries team back in the day. Um, World Industries became kind of a lame company and if you look at their art direction, it's like knockoff a Wet Willy and Flame Boy, except for some reissues they do. And this reissue I had to grab. I had this board back in the day. I got it from Pax Sun, I think, actually, which is not cool to say. But I skated it, and the Folio one, which is kind of like the other version of this deck at the time, I got signed, like I said. So I had to get this one for the wall. The only thing with this deck in uh, World Industries, you can tell, is not a top tier company right now. Maybe they will be eventually, but just like the top plain deck with like the one graphic top graphic and if you look on when they put the heat transfer on this board whoever cut this was the worst ever i've ever seen like a, a heat transfer cut like this is like the worst cutting on the edges i've ever seen in my life i don't know if i'll actually keep this board because I, I think there's two versions one that's like white like or plain like this the other one is just like a ply with no graphic and I think the one with uh, no graphic on the back, whoever, whatever company did it, cut it way better. But this is like atrocious. This is terrible. So I might sell this board. 
This is a cool kind of a reissue or redo of a board they did. Uh, Josh Kalis, of course, came from Alien Workshop, one of my favorite times in skateboarding, photosynthesis air. Um, when he went to DGK, he did a graphic like this, got a cease and desist, so they got rid of it. I'm not gonna pay resale. And recently they kind of redid it with Alien Workshop's Blessing. I think it's a really cool kind of uh, nostalgic graphic, so I grabbed that one. All right, another thing I've been getting into lately is a lot of, I've been getting like a lot of stance socks. I just kind of like, just like, I don't know, I think it's like a cool little subtle piece of your wardrobe. I never wear these types of socks with shorts. I feel like it looks weird when you wear all over print socks with shorts. So I kind of like them when you wear the denim and they just pop out a little bit and they flare on people. So I've been getting a lot of stance socks. So I got these ones, these are the baseball, just plain orange MLB stance socks. These are super comfortable and I just like that pop of color you might see when your jeans ride up a little bit. I think it looks real cool, so I love these socks. Of course, uh, Baby Yoda, Grogu merch all over the place. It's almost getting annoying, but I love the Mandalorian. I thought these were super cool. My girlfriend actually got them for me for my birthday on the back with his ears. It's like little fuzzy spots. I think it's pretty cool. So add those to the collection. I've, since Mandalorian came out, I've been getting really back into Star Wars and I had like a little discount code on uh, Zappos. So I got this Empire Strikes Back. Stance socks. I don't like these ones as much when they have like this print like on this because it's like a lesser quality sock. It's just kind of real thin and the elastic at the top is not real thick as like the MLB or other more premium socks. But I just love the older print on that. Had to get the Rage Against the Machine uh, collaboration they did with Stanced. Very simple but very cool. Black, can't go wrong with that. Got these all over print. Uh, these are not Stance, it's regular Black Sabbath is my favorite band. Black Sabbath all over print socks. Got these ones for Christmas. These ones, you'll see more of the shirts from the Black Sabbath uh, Lakai collaboration. I just grabbed these socks, Black Sabbath down the side, says Lakai on the bottom. Nothing crazy, I think they were like $9, so I just threw them in the cart with the other um, shirts I got, you'll see after this. And then, of course, you know, big Mets fan. Uh, I've also been getting into a lot of Carhartt recently. I just kind of like the simple design aesthetic of brands like that, like Carhartt, Dickies, kind of workwear stuff as I kind of fade away from like the high, big graphic, you know, Supreme stuff. So I got this New York Mets uh, 47 brand uh, Carhartt hat. It actually fits really well because a lot of dad hats I feel like are just too dad hat and they make you look weird, but actually this fits like kind of loose, so it looks good. Um, it's in this canvas kind of blue uh, Carhartt material, Carhartt on the back. I don't like the Carhartt brown. I think it's just too obnoxious for me, even though it is classic, so I was glad they offered the the navy in this, finally got this for my birthday too. Also continuing with the Carhartt, I got this in a recent Carhartt uh, kind of pickup. Um, just purple, I just like like different colored socks now, I'm really getting into that. Uh, just Carhartt work in progress, socks, I think they're, they feel really kind of fancy, you know, they're $18, but nothing crazy, nothing super special. And, all right, getting into all the good stuff now. Uh, I just got a hoodie and then all my t-shirts I'm gonna show you. This is a Carhartt work in progress uh, hoodie. This is a weird material. This is almost like a cotton neoprene. It's uh, white on the inside. It's, I think it's called like Care Lux or something like that, but it's white, but it doesn't give your shirt fuzz balls or anything. It's like a really strange material. It, all, it feels really high quality. The fit, <coughs> Carhartt work in progress stuff is like their streetwear version of Carhartt. Cause if you know Carhartt, it fits big, it fits baggy. It's for the working guy. It's for like layering and stuff. And layering, uh, layering, is that how you say layering? Layering, I guess that's what they were. It's for like layering and stuff like that, but um, the car art stuff just fits like true to size, it's slimmer, it's more fashion, streetwear stuff. It's super expensive, like, I think um, this jacket is actually kind of really reasonable. I think this is only $158, but like other jackets are like 300, their pants are at least like 120, like it's all like super expensive stuff, but I like the cut on it, the quality's way better than the regular stuff. I forgot about these, but I also picked up new denim for the first time, probably in like, four years. I originally used to wear APC uh, denim, just the, the Silva Draw denim, and I never really understood why it was so uncomfortable until I learned about Rise. It's like something so basic. It's like the crotch, how big the crotch is or whatever. And the APC Rise is so tiny, you feel like you're wearing like girl pants that you can't move. And I never really realized like I should just get pants with a bigger Rise. So I got these uh, Naked and Famous staple in the raw Selvage denim game. Um, super guy which is kind of more of like a baggier fit i would it's like slim but slightly bigger i would say which fit me way better because i have like a weird body shape but they i don't want them to be super tight but also don't want them to be super baggy super guy works for me go on their website you can see like how everything else fits and stuff like that um tailored at the ankle real tight though 
so it doesn't like swallow your shoe. But yeah, this is a Super Guy Selvage Raw Stretch, so also some more comfort right there. That's why I straight, stayed away from denim because I'm it's uncomfortable. But it looks cool, but it's uncomfortable. But these. They look cool and they're super comfortable. And now tons of black t-shirts. I'm shocked to hear that. Uh, I'll start with, I guess I'll start with the first one I got. I was actually wearing this. Um, black Sap and Lakai. Lakai did a collaboration, uh, Lakai Skateboard Shoe Company, and this is one of the shirts they did. Um, I kind of like this shirt, but at the same time I, same time I don't because they make it seem like Black Sap is just Ozzy Osbourne, and it's definitely not. They even like write the songs, really. So um, I kind of like this shirt, but I also kind of hate it that they put everyone in the back so faded out, but that's the first shirt I got. Second shirt from the collaboration, I got Master Reality Long Sleeve. Just says um, Black Master Reality on the front, Lakai symbol. And then, I don't know what it says, Lakai on the left side in purple. And then Black Sabbath on the, yeah, Black Sabbath. And then Black Sabbath on the other long sleeve, nothing on the back. It's like a typical like $20 whatever shirt, nothing high quality, it's thin, but I just thought, I liked how simple it was and cool. And I need more long sleeves, because uh, Texas weather is uh, a lot different than I thought. It gets really cold, like a lot of the time down in the winter, and uh, I thought it was gonna be hot all year round. This is one of my favorite shirts that I picked up. Um, this is from the Lakai Black Sabbath Club again. They, it's kind of like this acid faded wash black. It says Black Sabbath Never Say Die. I don't know why they picked that album, because that's my least favorite album. And then Black Sabbath Never Say Die in the back. I think that's a really cool graphic. I like that it's like a vintage look and it fits kind of like baggy. I kind of like the fit on these shirts. Got my little one-off shirt. Uh, as you know, G. Lion Nucci is my favorite skateboarder. He did his Poets brand a few years ago and he's been really pumping out some t-shirts and collaborations. So I really wanted to get something for a long time and just a lot of stuff he does. Like I just, it's just like, it's just not stuff I'm into. And the shirts are kind of like overpriced. Like, this is the Poets brand logo with, of course, the bottom being from Sopranos. If you know me, I, Sopranos is my favorite show all the time. Watched it like eight times at least. So, how to get the bottom being logo, but this shirt, this bottom being in the front, what, two colors, nothing on the back. At least he stitched in a, a Poets label, but that was, I think it was like 35 or 37, and then you gotta pay shipping, which is a lot, because this is basically like a $25 shirt, $30, you know? And getting into the more uh, Carhartt work in progress stuff I've just recently got. I like this tee. I like this kind of like ancient look with uh, the Sphinx and all that. It says Carhartt State of Mind. Kind of like a graffiti old like 90s looking kind of uh, art around the photo. These shirts fit way better than Carhartt other shirts and they feel way nicer. So the $55 compared to like 20 bucks for Carhartt. I guess it's worth it, you know, if you want it, it's worth it. And I just added this to cart because I really wanted to see what a Carhartt work in progress quality cut compared to a regular pocket tee because I got a bunch of them in the regular like $20 ones you get off Amazon. And the cut, of course, is way nicer. Um, the colors you can get are, I think, are way better other than, you know, the standard colors. They have tons more colors on work in progress. I think this is called Lagoon, which is like a dark green teal. And like I said, if you touch this shirt, try it on, and feel like another regular Carhartt shirt, you definitely feel the difference. I'm so desperate for brands. So I've been trying different brands and brands like I used to not care about or I thought were kind of like, you know, corny because like the kids that they would attract and I was in Supreme. Now it's like, you know, I don't even care anymore. It's like stuff I like, but I'd be like, oh, you know, that brand and it's kind of corny. I don't want to be associated with those people, but fake. And you guys know I love comic books. You follow me on Instagram. I always post graphic novels I pick up. I got a huge graphic novel collection. Batman, of course, is my favorite character from DC, which I don't think is saying much. DC's gonna kind of whatever. But uh, I got the Bape head, little camo, and it has a little gray version Batman, almost like the Frank Miller-ish type, but um, not as messed up. And I was so confused at what size they get it because I've seen people say, "Oh, you need to." size up it's crazy sizing and i heard people say oh no like damn the large is too big so i'm a median and everything i'm a median and everything i got a large and it fits great slightly a little bagger baggy from medium which i kind of like so if you're in between sizes if you don't want to get size up i think it'll be fine this shirt was so overpriced though this is a regular type shirt a little higher quality but it was like 140 shipping but i was like fuck it i want this shirt really bad I don't really want stuff that says like bait on it or a bathing ape. I don't like words on shirts. I feel like that's kind of like corny, obnoxious. I just want like a nice logo. And then when they did the Batman DC clap, I was like, that's perfect for me. Now, another thing from like the bait realm, I guess, ice cream. I really like Japanese art and stuff like this. It's kind of got like a Japanese um, vibe to it. I guess it is like kind of Japanese writing on the bottom. And then it's kind of got like old English writing with a tiger head ice 
ice pop on the back, ice cream. I believe you guys are probably like, damn, I never thought Mike uh, would be getting like ice cream and vape and stuff like that. It's like back in the day, uh, 2006, 2008, like I was obsessed with BBC ice cream and vape. I had vapes from like Pond in on eBay. I had ice cream, the original all over print ice cream, shoes, the beepers. Like I love that stuff. So this more is me to like nostal. I can never say that word. Nostalgic. It's like I think of like the 06, 08 stuff because it's not that stuff anymore. But that's what I think of. Makes me happy. I'm not gonna give a fuck what anyone thinks anymore. I like it, so I like these shirts. They're definitely um, a higher quality, and they're like 50 bucks, so they better be. But they're nothing like the you know back in the day. I think they were like 100 dollars, and then they just dropped them like 50 all of a sudden because they're not that prestigious anymore. But in BBC, I really like a lot of the stuff BBC does in t-shirts and um, jackets. So I like I picked this shirt up. I like this whole spacey vibe they got going. Billionaire Boys Club, great colors, astronauts, and on the back astronaut and with sizing just go to your true sizing these run a little bit longer I think but nothing crazy and another uh, BBC shirt I just got for my birthday um, going with that space vibe I love the kind of that whole kind of concept space and their style almost like a 1950s kind of space vibe um, billionaire boys club with a little UFO last shirt another brand like all these brands you know I, I used to wear like I'll show you it the hundreds I thought that was a cool like punk rock look typing you know punk rock look t-shirt like nothing what they usually do super graphic and illustrator looking kind of like pumped out for like a zoomies or whatever i really like this shirt i thought it was cool and it was on sale it was like 18 bucks and yeah the hundreds actually has been one of my favorite brands since i stopped getting supreme because they've been doing such great collaboration way better than supreme they don't try to be as serious and cool and artsy as supreme they just do cool graphics cool collaborations and uh, i like i really like their owners and everything so i like supporting the hundreds you know they kind of were one of those like mall companies, but I think about it now, I really don't think of them as a mall company if you get the right shirts. Some shirts do look super mall brand, but. All right guys, those are all my pickups. That's basically been like a month and a half of pickups. I really wasn't buying a lot of stuff until like after this move. I got here in August of last year, so for basically like a year, I wasn't buying like streetwear or stuff like that. Maybe any, maybe some things I needed here and there, but not a lot. So I bought all this stuff pretty much in the past like month and a half so i thought i'd do a video maybe some of you guys still care maybe you guys someone you guys want to see it it doesn't take much to do these you know videos you know sometimes it does get daunting you know doing stuff like that and you're not really into it but i was like you know why not let's film it so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to follow me on instagram mike.kilroy i appreciate it and who knows what the future holds you know if i keep picking up stuff like this i'll probably do like a video maybe you know once a month or something like that i don't think it's gonna be consistent but I'll put it out there if you guys want to watch it or whatever. And then uh, Instagram, I'm more active than the following there. So thank you guys. Always appreciate the support. And uh, maybe see you next time.